feel I'm feeling pretty hungover. Like uh, this, these long hours and this lack of sleep is really catching up to me. Uh, we're about to make some nitrous hits. Stephen just went to get some ice so we can fill up the ice reservoir again. You know, if we're gonna get serious, we might as well go all out. So we got E85 in the tank. We got pilled for 150 shots. I'm gonna start it with 50%, so a maximum of a 75 shot. And we're gonna be ramping in on RPM. I'm gonna start around 10%, ramp into 50. See how it goes. It should be fairly simple. Um, I'm still a little concerned though with the stock turbos and, and choking it up. If we're gonna be able to actually use that much nitrous. So we'll see. Hoping for the best. <laughs> Dwayne's back in here, back here making some decals for the race car. Throwing some decals on. We're just about to make nitrous hits. Open up the maximizer, nitrous express controller, and freaking no RPM signal. The auxiliary fuel controller is still seeing RPM perfectly fine. So we go ahead and temporarily disconnect that wire. And what do you know? Nitrous, Nitrous Express is now seeing RPM. So, one more delay on making nitrous hits. We are tapping into a separate wire, trying to duplicate the signal so that each one can have their own wire. At some point, we'll be able to make some nitrous hits. Got done with the nitrous hits. Mission successful. We're gonna leave it at a 75 shot for now, just because we're a stock turbo, stock engine. Uh, this car's got a lot of future ahead of it, so without having the ability to uh, make some track hits, you know, and dial in the shifting, we're just gonna leave it where it is. Uh, power's not that bad on a 75 shot. We made almost uh, an extra 100 horsepower. Check this out. Check this out right here. Sorry if I'm shaking a lot. I'm running on very little sleep. So, if you can see that, we are 323 stock, 413 without nitrous, and 519 with nitrous. Torque 354, 477, 537. And again, that's third gear probably would make more in fourth but we don't care about fourth so everything's going good I uh, just surprised Steven with some information that I have booked a flight hotel and car rental to Ohio so I'm gonna be there for track support hopefully we get some good results this thing stays together and we're able to dial in the shifting it's gonna be really fun after watching this thing back off the dyno uh, it just reminds me how awesome it looks Got some decals on the front now. Let's see if you can see that better here. Check that out. It's pretty slick. Got some more here. Got a nice little E85. Ferraro speed. Thanks for the engage. HP tuners. Appreciate the support. Eric, you've been awesome. Of course, more power tuning. Big old fatty tires. We got a little guy on the back too. It's pretty slick. So, we're done. Right now, Steven's out uh, filling up a 55 gallon jug of our local E85, which tested it. And then surprisingly, the results are really good. It's right around E90 actually, straight from the pump. So that's awesome. So he's gonna fill that up, he's gonna come back, load up the trailer and head out. He's got a 13 hour drive. We should put him there tonight, late in Ohio. And tomorrow, it's time to dial in the shifting. See what we can do there. 
It's been a freaking mission. There were so many times where we thought we were just gonna have to throw in the towel, but perseverance and we are there. I'm super excited to be a part of this project. Appreciate choosing MPT. Let's hit the track. It's a little scary, right? <laughs> Once the boost builds up, it takes a second for it to <laughs> yeah. let off. It's like, wow! Yeah. That was probably just first gear only. Yeah. That's a game changer. It's totally different than when I brought it in. Pedal feels a little different, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's, it's sensitive now. <laughs> almost backed up and almost spun out in reverse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 